We're just five days away from that crucial landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's surface. And ISRO today has completed another milestone. They're getting closer and closer to the moon. Lander Vikram, which is right now on an elliptical orbit around the moon, making its way slowly towards the lunar surface, did a de-boosting exercise, by which we mean that it's gotten closer to the moon's surface. De-boosting was a part of final preparations before Chandrayaan-3 lands on the surface of the moon. We're now just about 112 to 113 kilometers from the moon's surface. The next de-boosting will happen on 20th August at 2 a.m. when Chandrayaan then will be at the closest point to the moon, just 24 kilometers from the moon's surface. ISRO had also, remember, announced just yesterday the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft lander module had successfully separated from the propulsion module. So everything's as per schedule. August 23rd, 5.45 p.m. is when the landing takes place. Yes, everything is going as per planned, this one. We are working out that uh, different, different maneuvers now that uh, yesterday when we separated, it was like 167 by 167 kilometer orbit or so. Now it will be slowly, it will be decreased to the final orbit of that uh, 30 kilometers by one, um, 100 kilometers there. Okay. De-boost, uh, this one day, every day it will be there, so small, small that the uh, maneuvers will be there. This one. This is not a thing special, this one. And uh, finally, anyway, we need to achieve the orbit of 100 kilometers by 30 kilometers. Here, 30 kilometers is the place from where this uh, our descent is started, uh, getting started. This orbit will be that, uh, trimmed to get, get into the 30 kilometers by 100 kilometers orbit. Yes, uh, this is the orbit from which, from, this is the altitude. 30 kilometer altitude from which this uh, lander will start journey towards the surface of the Earth, I mean, the uh, moon. So the next few days, this uh, maneuvers will be done to achieve this particular orbit size. Yeah, probably, yeah, and I think uh, a very short while from now, it is designed for the to closer orbit. It's uh, gradually inching towards the surface of the moon. And uh, I'm sure these pictures will excite every Indian, but... Uh, for the scientific fraternity, they would have other connotations as well. The imagery would uh, give indication of the kind of uh, crater, the kind of uh, surface, the kind of milieu uh, over there. So I, I, uh, uh, I think it's uh, appropriate to say that uh, the, the lander has started doing its work even before it's uh, or started performing its task even before it is landing. Okay, let's take this across also to Nagarjun Dwarkanath, who explains to us why today's exercise was so crucial and what's expected in the coming days as we count down to August 23rd, the day when the soft landing will be done by Lander Vikram. Nagarjun, good evening. Another big milestone by ISRO. Everything is going as per plan. And for ISRO, the next few days will be crucial because very slowly and steadily, they're going to be inching closer and closer to the moon, Naga. Good evening, Achita. In fact, today was another important maneuver. Also, deboosting uh, is very important because you'll have to reduce the acceleration and also still uh, descend to the next desired orbit. Uh, and today it was done as per schedule. Apologies. We have lost that connection with Nagarjun and we will continue to get you all the updates from Bengaluru as well, which is where our ISRO scientists are currently based, the team that's closely tracking Chandrayaan-3. But perhaps the biggest milestone so far of Chandrayaan-3's journey to the moon was achieved yesterday when the separation was successful. What do I mean by that? Well, lander Vikram, which was attached to a propulsion module, successfully separated from the mothership, from the propulsion module, and thereby started his journey all alone through the uh, moon via an elliptical orbit. Let's recap for you how that separation happened. It's the final countdown days from now, India will be at the moon's south pole. In one of the most crucial maneuvers yet by Chandrayaan-3, lander Vikram separated from the mothership, the propulsion module, to set up a date with the moon. 
The Vikram lander with its rover Pragyan inside is on its journey now to the moon's south pole, expected to touch down for that historic soft landing on August the 23rd at 5.45 p.m. Our ISRO heroes have done it again. A picture-perfect launch followed by a super smooth journey into the moon's orbit, but the true test will now come in six days. So whatever uh, that uh, mistake happened in the Chandrayaan 2 have been corrected in Chandrayaan 3. Also that the additional design margins have been improved. Also that wherever the redundancy is not there, now it's uh, put it. That way we have more confidence on Chandrayaan 3 to be successful. Equipped with four landing legs and four landing thrusters of 800 newtons each, Vikram is designed for a soft landing on the moon. It carries within it a rover named Pragyan. A billion Indians are now rooting for Chandrayaan 3 and congratulations are pouring in for our ISRO heroes who continue to work day in and out to ensure a 100% successful mission. No, certainly a matter of great satisfaction and a matter of moment of pride for each one of us. There is a propulsion module will keep moving and get, uh, keep taking pictures. So now the roles have got divided and each of the components will perform its respective roles. It is also a symbol of India's growing capability and uh, capacity and I hope Chandrayaan 3 works out to be a very successful uh, uh, mission. With Lander Vikram making the difficult journey now to the moon's surface on its own, what happens to the propulsion module that helped Chandrayaan travel so far? Well, ISRO has confirmed that the propulsion module will continue its journey in its current orbit around the moon. Now, the propulsion module will continue its research with the sensor, shape sensor, gathering data about cloud polarization which can be used to find signatures on exoplanets for habitability. The lander module after de-boosting will go ahead and in the next five days will start the procedure of soft landing on the moon's surface. Vikram is on its final lap now and a billion hopes are pinned on this 1778 kilogram lander and rover to fulfill our Chandrama dreams. Onward and upward, Chandrayaan. With Pramod Madhav, Bureau Report, India Today. The final countdown is on for Vikram Lander to touch down on the moon's surface. But what have we witnessed really in the last 40 odd days since that picture perfect launch of Chandrayaan 3 from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh? It's been a long, arduous journey, but one that's been absolutely perfect and on schedule by ISRO. Let's get you all of the highlights so far of Chandrayaan 3's journey. Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft and propulsion module, having spent 34 days together, parted ways and embarked on their respective journeys on 17th August. The propulsion module separated from the lander while in lunar orbit. A day before, on 16th August, the spacecraft had successfully completed a crucial firing operation, placing it into an orbit of 153 kilometers by 163 kilometers around the moon. This marked the completion of the lunar-bound maneuvers and brought the spacecraft one step closer to its ultimate goal of landing on the south pole of the moon. This is a, it's a really a vital, vital element because uh, now you look at the Chandrayaan 3 mission, basically consists of uh, uh, three plus one four modules type of thing. First is LVM-3, which has taken the uh, composite of uh, Vikram lander uh, propulsion module and the Pragyan, the rover, uh, to the 36,000 kilometer uh, highly elliptical orbit. From there, uh, using a five earthbound maneuvers, earthbound maneuvers, a propulsion module has taken the composite of Vikram lander and the Pragyan to the lunar orbit. Again, the lunar orbit also from the elliptical orbit, it has now brought to the near circular 
close to the moon around 153 kilometer orbit it has uh, brought 153 by 163 kilometer so now uh, the important uh, thing is uh, fi final thing is softly and securely landing on the moon the propulsion module is a box like structure with a large solar panel and a cylinder on top it is responsible for carrying the lander and rover configuration until the spacecraft reaches a hundred kilometers lunar orbit the propulsion module will now continue its role as a communication relay satellite now vikram has to take its own course of action further it has to separate so even after, after separating then the major event comes the major event is uh, uh, four uh, 800 newton thrusters they have to fire to take it to the lower orbit they, that also will be done in two steps and uh, ensuring that all the three systems are working properly. These two steps will go down, put 100 kilometer orbit, then from 100 go to the uh, 30 kilometer orbit, 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. That's a very, very vital. But when it's going very closer, closer to the earth, so the position of the module has to be ascertained properly. Carrying hopes of billions of Indians, Bahubali rocket LVM-3 lifted off from Sri Harikota on 14th of July with Chandrayaan-3 aiming to land a rover on the moon's surface. The takeoff was picture perfect. More than a month later, it's now on its last leg to make history an Indian space dream come true.